customer called because every time he turns on his jacuzzi breaker, he hears sparking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is check the breaker by taking off the cover. I can see the jacuzzi breaker is right here. It's the 50 amp GFI breaker and it's off. I got the cover off. Put the screw back so I don't lose it. Seems like the breaker's just broken. So let's pop her out. Oh, wow. That thing melted. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to just replace the breaker. And uh, we should be good to go. One of the clips is still attached to the live bus bar and I gotta get it off. So I'm just gonna disconnect all the wires from the breaker and then I'll go to the truck and get a new 50 amp GFI breaker and we'll uh, reinstall the new breaker. So I should have a 50 amp GFI breaker. 50 amp GFI breaker. Let's go put it in. So I need to disconnect the neutral from the old breaker that's on the bus. And then I'm gonna connect the new neutral to the bus bar. Now I'm gonna put the neutral that's going to the jacuzzi on the breaker in the middle slot, just like that. And then we'll do our two lines on either end of the breaker. I don't like how these are stripped, so I'm just gonna re-strip these. And then we'll just put them on line one. And then line two. So after getting all the wires nice and tight, I'm gonna put the breaker into the panel, but I'm gonna lower it one space because I feel like these wires were a little bit short and they were getting pulled, which was causing the breaker to have a lot of tension. And I think that's why it started to arc. So I'm gonna put it one space lower, making sure the breaker's off. Snap it in. Now I don't have tension on these wires. And then I can turn the breaker on. It's holding and my jacuzzi should have power now. Because I moved the breaker down, I moved the label down and now I'm gonna take these KOs out so that my breaker will fit. And then I can just put the cover back on. And then I'm gonna install some panel blanks right here. And that's your end result.